DreAllDay.com, WorkingYourGame.com. Let's talk about your energy and the way that you're showing up every single day. This is something that uh, everybody should keep in mind, no matter what you do for a living, you know, where you're trying to go, what your goals are. Energy is 85% of the job in life. 85% of the job is your energy, meaning, and your energy is not just uh, how your body feels, it's also mentally, because we all have heard the phrase, mind over matter, right? And when you get your mind in the right space, you can get your body to do whatever you want it to do. And when your mind is not in the right space, your body could be feeling great, but you're not able to execute the way that you want to execute because your your energy is not on point, is not focused, and is not sharp. So this is specifically about those third days. And the third day, if you don't, for those of you who don't know, that's my my latest book as of this recording, the decision that separates the pros from the amateurs. It's basically about those moments in your life, those times, those days when everything is not quite popping off the way that you want it to pop off. Your energy is not really where you want it to be, but there's still a job that needs to get done. There's still things that need to get taken care of. And it's the decision that you make. Third day is really about the decision that you make as to how you're going to show up, even though your energy is not quite where you want it to be. That's what the third day is all about. How do you show up and bring that right energy? And you need to have strategies and systems for bringing that right energy even when the circumstance is not so much in your favor even when circumstances aren't looking the way that you want them to look how do you bring yourself to bring that right energy anyway because again this is what separates the pros from the amateurs you think about the people who run businesses do they always feel excited about going to work especially in challenging situations they got customer service issues they might have supply chain issues. Maybe the bank is causing them problems. They got all kinds of things going on in their business that's slowing them down from doing what they want to do. But they still have to show up to the office and do their job, right? Think about your favorite professional athlete. There are days where their bodies don't feel that great. They got to go to practice. They have some injury or not even an injury, but some kind of pain that's been nagging them for months. They still have to play in the games. They still have to show up and do their jobs. Those of you who are parents, there are times your kid is sick or they're waking up in the middle of the night. You're already tired. Nobody else is there to take care of them. You got to wake up in the middle of the night and take care of your kid. You might not feel like doing that, but you have to do it because that's the job that you signed up for when you decided to become a parent. So we all have these times. And if you haven't had these times, you will have these times in your life where you got to decide, am I a pro or, I'm, or am I an amateur? Because the amateurs have an option. See, the amateurs have the option. I don't really feel like working today, so you know what? I'm either not going to show up, I'm going to half-ass it, or I'm going to give. A, I'm going to just go through the motions and not really give a full effort today. Amateurs can get away with that because they're amateurs. By definition, an amateur is not getting paid for what they're doing. So if they decide to not show up and not do their job, nobody can really hold them accountable because they're not getting paid. But a professional, definition of a professional, someone who does something as their main paid occupation, because they are getting paid, now, because the, you took that money, you took that paycheck, you took that, that payment, now you have to show up and you have to do your job. You don't have a choice. You have to do the job. That's what the third day is about. And if you're not good enough at doing that job or you're not consistent enough at doing that job, what happens is you're out of a job. You get thrown out of the game. Because remember what business that we're in, folks. You're in a results and a performance-based business. So if you don't perform and produce results, you won't be in business anymore. You will go out of business or you will lose all of your business. This is the way that it works. And this applies to everybody and everything that you're doing. So knowing this, understanding this is not enough. The next step is you have to have a process. You have to have systems in place in your life and in your business that will ensure that you show up and bring the kind of energy that needs to be brought every single day at your work, at that job that you signed up for, so that you and the people who are trusting you, and the people who are paying you know what they're gonna get from you on a consistent basis. This is another thing about being a professional, is that you know what you're gonna get from them. See, professionals, you know what kind of performance they're gonna deliver every single time. That's one of the things that makes them a pro, is that all right, we can call on this guy because we know what he's gonna to bring to the table. We know what kind of results we're gonna get from him. Think about your favorite athlete, again, you know what kind of performance you want to get from them basically every game that they play. 
doesn't mean they always have an amazing game, but the best professionals, the highest performing professionals, the ones that go down as legends, you pretty much knew what you're going to get from them every single game that they played. That's what makes them great. It's not just what they did in the big moment when everybody was watching. It's the fact that they performed at a high level every single time over and over again over an extended period of time. And that's what made them great. And understand that's not some stroke of luck. That's not that they were just this, this chosen person that everything happened you know, so well for them every single time. They have processes and systems in place that ensure that their energy is right so that they can show up and deliver on the level that's expected of them, the level that they're being paid to deliver at. They have processes and systems in place to ensure that that continually happens. That's not something that just happens by luck. So any of you who thought that happened by luck, no, that does not happen by luck. That happens by process. That happens by system. So what you need to do, based on this message here, is you need to have a system in place. You need to have a process that ensures that you have that energy to show up all the time and deliver at your best level. The energy allows you to access the skill. So the skill is the separate parts. That's you working on your game. But the energy is what allows you to access that skill and make sure that you're delivering with that skill on a consistent basis to the point that people can start expecting it of you. And when people expect things of you, they start depending on you. When they depend on you, they will pay you because they know what they're gonna get from you and people will pay for consistency. People will pay for things that they can predict. People do not pay for things that they don't know what they're gonna get. People don't pay for surprises, but we will pay for consistency. So if you wanna be that person who is getting paid and you wanna be able to set your own price, name your own price and set that price and actually get it from people and have people coming to you wanting to pay you, you gotta prove that you're consistent. You gotta prove that you can deliver on your promise over and over and over again to the point that people can even expect it and depend on it. They can sleep easy knowing that you're gonna deliver every single time. You wanna to get to that level, you must, you must have a system for making sure that your energy, the way that you mentally show up is on point and it works for you over and over and over again. The best performers out there, the highest paid people, I guarantee you they have this in place. Even if you don't know about it, doesn't mean they don't have it. They have it, guaranteed. Because nobody feels good every single day to go and do their job. But some people do it every single time anyway. That's a process. That's a system. That's not both. So with that said, text me to get my daily motivation text for free every day to your phone. My number is 305-384-6894. And go to workonyourgameuniversity.com so you can get into my work on your game system. That's where I took everything that I use to make myself a professional athlete coming from one year of high school ball walking on in college and then becoming a, a nine-year professional athlete what were the tools and the systems and the strategies that i used to make that happen and how do they translate to the business world and into everyday life i'll tell you exactly how in my work on your game system you get coached directly by me to apply that system to your life you get that by going to work on your game university.com work on your game dre all day